What's up traders, it's John Howell here and in this video um, I'm going to give you some general advice only around what to do when you're approaching credit spreads. See if you're, if you're looking to trade options and you've heard of credit spreads and you want to know more information about it, then I'm going to give you a general view of, overview of the credit spread itself, but I'm also going to tell you the reason why it could be one of the most risky ways of of trading the markets. And I'm going to walk you through why that is and why it's probably one of the most worst ways to actually trade the markets and the way that most people trade, or should I say the way most people trade options with credit spreads can be really, really risky and it can be actually against your odds of you being successful in the markets. Okay, so we're going to walk you through that. And then also, if I'm going to, if, then I'm also going to walk you through some things. So, okay, my top three things here that I've got that if you are going to trade the credit spreads, okay, either the put spread or the call spread, I'm going to walk you through some major key points that you need to know. It's going to give you the advantage. It's going to give you some extra advantage on that because the spreads are actually set up against you of doing really, really well. Okay, so let's actually walk you through this. As I said before, that I'm going to walk you through some credits. I'm going to walk you through. I talk to you about more about the information about the credit spreads. And if you are looking to trade credit spreads, you're going to really like this. So I'm going to talk to you about the the put the put spread, and I'm also going to talk about the call spread. But I'm just going to really, really dig deep down more on the put spread here. But you can really flip it upside down to also talk, talk about a look at the uh, call spread as well. Okay, so with the with the uh, with the put spread, it's more of a bullish strategy. I mean, you want the market to be generally neutral or going up. You don't want it to be going down because that's when you generally lose money with this strategy. With the call spread, it's more of a bearish strategy. Okay, you want the market to be neutral or going down and not going up because that's more uh, that's where you can lose money. Okay, so let's have a look at this here. Okay, just real quick, and uh, so let's just say for example we have a twenty dollars stock. We're going, right now we're going to be looking at a put put. Uh, a put credit spread example, okay? So I put a credit put spread example. Let's just say, for example, we had twenty dollars, okay? And we're gonna have uh, at nineteen dollars, at nineteen dollars, we're gonna write an option, okay? And let's just say, for example, we're gonna, we're gonna receive thirty cents, okay? I'm gonna keep it real basic and simple here. And stocks at nineteen dollars, we're gonna write and we're gonna uh, stocks at twenty dollars, we're gonna write a nineteen dollar option, okay? And we're gonna receive thirty cents for that, okay? Now again, I'm not going to go through the absolute basics of how you receive the income and stuff like that. It's done through broker and stuff like that. But again, this is just more of an overview of how to actually trade it better. Okay, so stocks at 20, right, made 30 cents. Now we're going to buy an option at $18 and we're going to receive 10 cents, right? So if we receive 30 and now we just paid out 10 cents for, uh, for, for protection, how much did that make us? Made us 20 cents, right? So 20 cents, that's our reward, right? 20 cents generally per share there. Okay, so 20 cents, um, and so that is our reward. Okay, but let's have a look over here. Our maximum risk is how much between the, the, written, sp the, writ the written option and the board option, right? That's our maximum risk. That's the reason why we buy it because we buy protection. So our maximum risk here is one dollar. Makes sense because it's between the, between the two different prices. Now, what we're looking at here and what we're looking to do is we say, okay, then that's our maximum risk, but how much money did we receive? We received 20 cents. Because I received 20 cents. So that means $1 minus 20 cents equals how much? So 80, 80 cents now is our maximum risk. Make sense? So that is our maximum risk now between these options here. So let's have a look at this here. And this is the reason why this, uh, this strategy can be, can be one of the most risky ways to actually trade the markets. Let's have a look at this over here in total. Right. Our reward for doing this trade is 20 cents right here. That's our reward. Our risk is 80 cents. Now, I don't know about you, but you've got to now have like a 70% plus success rate to do really, really, really well in the markets. And I don't care who you are, sometimes getting that success rate and having really good profits is actually, uh, it, it, it can be done and, and, it's, and it can be done, but it's actually, you've got to work really hard to do that. Okay? So, this is actually putting the odds against you of doing really well. And this is the way that most people trade the markets. Now for me personally, I think just buying options straight out, right? Just buying the option and learning how to read the market and having a good sense of direction. I think that's the best way to actually trade the markets because you can have like a 30%, even a sometimes even a 20% success rate if you know how to trade the markets and have good trade management. Just buying the option and having a good sense of how to, how to read the market, getting good, getting good at reading the, reading, the, reading the direction, then that's going to help you, you know, some, again, like sometimes I've been only 30% run the markets and I've still made money. But here's the thing, okay, I do trade the spreads, 
but I have a option scanner that scans over over 2,000 stocks, over 100,000 different options, and these are the, these are the different criteria that my scanner is actually looking for. Firstly, okay, well here's, here's the top three things that you need to do if you are going to trade the credit spread, and we're going to look at this. What are some things you can do to help you stack the odds on your side even more? Firstly, trade stock in uh, um, in direction. Mean, meaning if we're trading a put spread and there's a bullish strategy, well we want the chart, we've got to get good at reading the chart, we want the chart to say, okay then this chart looks like it's going to go up based on the market, based on the price action. Make sense? So that's the first thing, because if, if this is a bullish strategy, what's going to help us have the advantage of helping this be successful? Well, the, the actual stock going up away from, away from our, our actual spread itself, if it goes up, that means it's away from this and we're likely to close out exercise it, uh, close out worthless and keep our, keep our money and we can go do it again. Make sense? The next thing here is more protection. Meaning this, if you've, if, um, if you've got a $20 option, right, try to see if you can write down, try to see if you can find trades where you can write the fifth, maybe the $15 option, I know this is messy, $15 option, and then maybe the, six, maybe the $14 option buy it. And that's where our spread is. So can you see, it's at $20, and you're riding it that far deep below the price and doing the spread, the stock's got to go from $20 now all the way down to $15 before you're in any real danger. That's actually giving you a bit more protection there, therefore it's actually allowing you to increase, this, increase the probability of you having a good successful trade. Make sense? So, and then, um, and yes, you can find that again when you actually have a, when you, uh, what, you have a scan or something like that, there are, stock, there are, there are trades out there that do that. Um, and also less time. I used to trade this on monthly options, but now I'm just trading weekly options, and I do this on the American market. So being less time, if I have all these different criteria in my favor, and I'm trading the put spread, I'm trading the credit spread, uh, everything here, uh, again, this overall trade here, this overall uh, spread and uh, credit spread is actually against you of you being successful overall, okay? And, and I, I would say that for the beginner trader, I wouldn't actually recommend trading this way. I recommend just buying the option. And again, but you, there's a whole step-by-step -step process I'll talk about in a minute here, okay? But you, if you are gonna trade and you really like the credit spreads, then here's some things you need to look out for, all right? And we just walked through, through them just then, just, uh, just then, okay? So if you would like to, if you would like to learn more about my, the, uh, some, some basic analysis of what I'm looking to do when I'm buying the option, Okay, um, when I'm looking to buy the option, what sort of option am I looking at to buy? How far am I looking at, and so on and so forth, to actually give me the most, the, the best sort of reward to risk? How am I lowering my risk and increasing my reward by picking a different type of option? Then there's a there's a little little link at the top here that says you know click here to watch the video. That can take you over to that video, so you can watch that one as well too. It's going to walk you through that. Now, if you are interested in more learning more about my scanner or learning more about how I actually lay out the foundation, what I call the super trader form. Now, so step by step by step and actually getting that for free and learning more about my view of the, my view of the markets and my trading strategies and, and how I've actually got a step by step process of approaching the markets, um, then there's a little button there, just click on that, it's going to take you over where you can learn more information about that, okay? Anyway guys, I hope this really helps you out. This is John Howell here, remember success can be yours if you go claim it, so step up, take massive action and face your fears today.